Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profo Technicians team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress widget development tutorial. This is our part 7. Inside this video session guys, we are going to create our layout for COVID-19 visit. If I back to browser, so in the last video, if I scroll down, now this is the visit what we have developed. But right now, there is no method implemented called form visit as well as update. Instead, what we have done so far, we have declared a class as well as we have defined a method. Inside this method, we are hitting a API URL. Now inside this video, we are going to create a layout. So first of all, I am going to make a widget layout something. Inside that widget, we have a widget title only. So let's say that title at first step we are going to read all about the instance value of this title. So let's say that if we have some title value inside this then we are going to take the value otherwise we will have the empty value. Now we are going to use the PHP tags means opening as well as closing. Now in between these two I am going to declare a paragraph tag inside this I am going to declare a label and inside this let's say that we have all about widget title. Inside this I am going to next define all about input type text box. So let's say input type. So this is the type of text and inside this we have a name attribute and inside this we are going to use our WordPress function something echo. Let's say this get underscore filled underscore name. Inside this, I am going to pass our key something called title. Also along with this name attribute, I am going to specify the ID of this text box. So let's say that again, I am going to use one more WordPress function something called this. Let's say get underscore filled underscore ID. And inside this, I am going to specify our key. And finally, let's a placeholder something, placeholder and this placeholder indicates all about the text. Let's say enter title. Now if we save this change, back to browser, reload this page and if I add this visit to our footer 2, click on add visit and inside here we have now our title label as well as a input type text. So I am going to specify a class so that it will look much better. So here what I will do, I am going to specify a class. Inside this class, wide fat. This is the class provided by WordPress. So I am going to add inside this, save this change, reload this page, go inside this footer too and inside last section we can see that we have now a better layout. So after implementing this layout, I am to save the value. So if I copy this title value and put inside this value attribute, suppose we have some value. So after getting the value, we have now title value inside this input type text box. To save the value from this text box, we are going to make or implement all about update method. So I am to define its instance. It will be an empty array. Let's say that instance and inside this we will have a key, something called title and let's say each set inside this new instance what we are taking here. So inside this we are comparing that if suppose we have some value so we will store that value inside this instance variable and finally return that value so let's say instance so simply we have implemented all about the form method as well as update method if i go here again reload this page and simply what i will do if i pass a title here let's say that COVID-19 visit and if I click on save button so as we can see that if I again reload this page we have now a layout and by the help of this layout we have successfully saved our value to our database table 
and also the saved value is now automatically rendered inside this input type text box. Now after form method as well as update method, next we need to implement all about widget method so that we can render our widget content. So let's say widget content to front end. So what I will do, let's say echo something we have args what we have taken here and inside this we have called widget title. Sorry, it's not widget title, it's something before title. If I copy this, pasting it here and it will be something after title. These two values automatically creates a wrapper selector element so that what the title we have specified at the admin layout will go inside this wrapper element. So in between these two, what I will do, let's say if each set instance inside this, let's say we have a title. So let's echo and we are just echoing the title. So if I save all these changes and also open up website in our next tab, reload this page, if I go at the footer and as we can see that this is our title what we have saved from our database. Now next, we need to hit the API and we have to get the data and so here inside this visit and remember we have to use all the data inside the tabular format. So go here and inside this, I'm to write this echo something args. Inside this, we have called before visit. And remember, one more key we have something called after visit. And inside this, so before that, what I will do, let's say COVID 19 data. And for that, I'm to call this. By using this keyword, we are going to call the method of same class and here it is. Inside this, if I simply, let's say called print a and here we have, let's say, COVID-19 data and before that, if I make echo of PRE tag, save all these changes, back to browser, reload this page. If I scroll down and here, so if I inspect this area and I think that we are not getting any data inside this widget content, back to editor and inside here, if we go inside this method what we have defined and I think that we need to return this result. So finally, let's return and result here. So save all these changes, back to browser, reload this page close this inspect. Now as we can see that we have now data. We have a global key with object as well as we have a countries which is a array of object. So for now let's say that if we want to show all the data of this global. So what we have to do and remember this is a JSON object. So first of all we need to decode our data. So here if we copy that or simply let's say data equal to JSON decode and inside this let's say COVID-19 data copy this variable pasting it here reload this page and I think that we have some error and error is of this semicolon reload this page and this time our object means JSON object is now converted into an standard object and this is a PHP object so by the help of these data actually we can read all the data and render inside this layout. If I back to editor, so if we want all about our global data so let's say global underscore data, all we have to read all about data and here is the global key. So simply we need to read all about this data so let's say each set. So we need to return that data otherwise we have an empty array as well as if we want all about country wise data so let's say countries underscore data so here what I will do if I copy pasting it here and inside this we have a key called countries so pasting it here now let's say that for now if I copy this global data pasting it here 
reload this page so inside this area we have now our global data worldwide so by the help of this key this is all about worldwide global data and also this is a variable which contains country wise data so in the next video guys we will make two tables the first table is for global data and the second table is for country wise data so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day